Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Juliet Meal Craft. So as you will have seen um, from the title of this video, we are focusing on... Oh, I've got the wrong brush. I've just contaminated my ink. Um, we're focus on, focusing on um, National Oceans Day. Um, National Oceans Day is um, celebrated annually on the 8th of June and was originally um, established in 1992 and obviously it's to bring awareness to the health of our oceans and we know that we're seeing so much information about how plastics affecting our ocean life and various things like that um, so there's so much happening and um, these days of awareness are meant to sort of just focus our attention on some of these issues um, from time to time. So there's a few of us that thought it would be nice to sort of be involved and um, there's a few craft brands that we thought, you know what, let's get our ocean themed stuff out and uh, be able to talk about an important issue as well as craft. Um, I'm putting some bubbles down. I've put a bit of squeezed lemonade and a tiny bit of kitchen. Those are the colours that I've done with our Narwella. <laughs> Um, and she is from the Mermaiding, Mermaising Maidens collection. So um, there's a few of us um, and I will have all the details in the description box below that are kind of, you know, let's get in our, our under the sea crafty stash out, having a play, having fun, but also maybe addressing a more serious, serious issue that needs addressed. I'm just pulling out a few more of my stencils that I think might be quite um, useful. I'm just trying to create a little bit of a background um for this so i've got quite a few under the sea um collections i've just realized that my scissors are hiding in a pot here that i currently have um under there um and i am going to have them discounted um of the day of 8th of june i'm just going to pop in and cut away this excess bit so i'm not feeling you don't always have to sort of go in and Sometimes I would sort of stab it out and have a really awkward angle for cutting. Sometimes if you just sort of cut cut up past the sleeve or whatever, then you get the more freedom of movement and nobody knows because by the time you stick it back down, you don't know that you've cut up there. <laughs> um, and it's just going to make me a bit happier not having the big white chunks. chunks. So I know our Bev from Be Crafty, she is involved. Um, Louise Sims is. We might have some of the other girls from Crafting Together with All Brands um, participating. Um, and I know that there's going to be a few discounts across the various brands, um, you know, just to be our acknowledgement um, to the importance of our oceans. Um, I will put all the details below. Some of us are doing YouTube um, videos, some of us are doing blog hops. I'm personally doing both, so there'll be a blog on my brand new website, um, and in that will also include um, a list of all the different um, products that will be on sale including, as I said, I've got the Mermaiden Maison, Mermaiden, oh dear, Mermaiding Maidens, honestly, teeth. Um, I've got the Ocean Fashionistas, I've got the Arctic Adventures where my little whale has come from, um, and obviously I have um, my little octopus, oh that's a bit heavier handed than I'd intended it to be, I've got my little octopus as well, and the little seahorse, and that's all in there. Um, so we've got lots of different um, things going on. So I kind of have done that, but I possibly should have done it that way if I was thinking. To make it a bit more wavy shapes. But basically I'm just trying to get some, some blue in. But I'm just uh, looking at the colours that I've picked. That's from quite green. And it's maybe not... so so we've got we're getting there we'll build it up and then I've got um Winnie from sorry Willow from Arctic Adventures so I was thinking that we could have our Narwella swimming with some whales so though these are quite um they've got quite a purpley hue the way I've coloured them so I was trying to pick out the colours of her dress but the pink's gone orange and that's gone a bit too green so let me pull out some different distress inks. 
can't quite locate my blending mat. Um, <laughs> so I'm using one of the temporary uh, paint palette things that I like to use. And I'm just going to try bringing in a little bit of Mermaid Lagoon around the edges. And we'll sort of try and bring this in and pull it back. I can also knock this back quite a bit with water, which I probably will do. Um, so we'll do some splashing. It was a bit of a mop-up page anyway. I think I'd clean some stencils on it, but that's a very, very sort of slight um, nod in the background now. So it just becomes one of those fantastic layers that helps to build up a page. This is also an example of if things don't turn out quite how you expect it, don't panic. Just keep going. I don't have the ability to sort of blend quite as easily with the top of this, but we'll make it work. And we'll get a bit of colour on that. So that's kind of brought that in. Let's see how our images are looking. So it's a bit more sea-like now. So I'm happier with that. Um, but I think I want to try and see if I can... I've got some mulled lavender. And I also um, have a, a stronger purple. But I'm thinking that might be a bit too strong. So let's go with the mulled lavender first. I've got quite a small brush because... Um, my brushes are needing cleaned, so I'm just wondering if that might be a bit too soft actually. I might have to be brave and go with a stronger one. Where have I put it now? So I've got some dusty concrete. And I'm just going to bring some elements of purple into this as well, just because I think it's going to match um, just the way we've coloured the images. It's just going to bring that purpley tone into it and actually purple and yellow because we've got the yellow in there go really well together because they're at opposite ends of the colour wheel so they're contrasting colours um, so they always work really well together so it'll, the purple will make the yellow look more yellow and the yellow will make the purple look more purple so it's probably quite a good um, combination to have it's probably why I went for sort of uh, purples and um, yellows in the first place and not that it was a conscious thought, I just sort of naturally do this. Quite often colour combos that we like and just naturally like and we say, oh I do it because I like it. Uh, quite often there is a reason why we like it. <laughs> and it, it'll be down to some something. So you don't feel you have to understand colour color theory. If you like it, you like it. But you quite often find that you like it because of something like that. Right, that looks a bit dodgy like that, but once we start putting this in. Doesn't that look good? Right. So I kind of, I've got a little diddy one look. Oh I love this about digital stamps. I love the fact that you can just, oh yes, that looks fabulous. Even if I say so myself. Right, it's good to enjoy your work though. That's okay, that's a-okay. Then I'm hoping, because I'm kind of strapped for time, I should really be prepping my TV show. But you know, instead, instead I'm playing in my journal, as you do. I always do things like that, you know. I'm never inspired by what I should be inspired by. <laughs> it's always like, ooh, I could play with that. Right, I'm having fun though. I'm also meeting a friend in a bit for a coffee. So now that we're actually allowed to do that, it's lovely. And then I'm playing it safe and I'm not going to be doing too much after that because I'm due down in the Chand on the 16th. And uh, I just like to make sure that I don't really go anywhere where I'm going to be contacted by track and trace and end up putting my shows in jeopardy. But that's partly because I absolutely love going down. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to let that sit for a little while. The thing to remember with this technique is actually the longer the water sits there, the more chance it has to push the ink and the pigment away. So to get like really bright speckles, it is good just to sort of wait a little minute uh, before lifting it up. And I'm just going to push down. On this. So as I said, for a um, full list of the discounted items, I'll probably put them in the description box below, but it will also be on um, my website in a blog post 
um, which will be on the home page. Look at that, which will be on the home page of my website. So, yeah, I'm thinking. I do still sort of almost want a touch of pink, just to sort of bring out what she looks like. Oh wow, that almost looks galaxy-like now, doesn't it? Right. So I kind of went from like, oh, I don't know, to it's looking all right now. So that's the that's the lesson. Just kind of keep going. I don't want a huge amount. I just want to almost introduce a tiny bit of pink. The trouble is. We are working with a water reactive product underneath, um, so it will, the colours will blend slightly. So I need to be aware of that. So I'm kind of trying to hit the more bluey areas because if that merges, it'll make a purple, which kind of blends in with the whole theme. So that's all good, but obviously the yellows will turn to orange, which I'm not particularly wanting for that. So I'm just going to add a few more bits and pieces. I love how with stencils you don't need a lot, a couple of inks and it's amazing how quickly you can build up um, a really pretty page. I like that a lot. Right. Yep. That's all good. Right, I'm going to get my ocean stamp sets out and I'm just going to do, add a little bit of stamping to the background. And then I think we'll just pop our characters down and then we'll be okay, done. So I have got out this stamp set, Oli Octopus, and I'm going to use the bubbles. I'm just going to randomly stamp some of the bubbles in the background. And then I have raided my bit box and thankfully found some under the sea treasures. So we're going to be able to build a picture up, which is a Fabulous. Um, so these stamps will be on offer as well. I have to say when it comes to the ocean theme stamps, um, I don't have huge stocks of them and it's not something that once they're gone, they're gone. I'll not be getting them reordered. Um, so just to let you know that, if it's something that you've had your eye on, but obviously this isn't about me and about sales, it's about um, thinking about our oceans, which is what, um, what we're here for. But it was just to let you know, just in case. <laughs> right. So, building up lots of bubbles in the background. Right. There we go. All good. I feel like I need some up here, but I'm not quite sure how well I can really manage that with the, there being the rings there. So it's not the big stamp in there, but there we go. That's fine. It's just I wanted it to take it up to the top. What I am also going to do um, is I'm just going to grab some water. In the same way that we lifted a little bit of the colour by doing the splatters, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to be a bit more specific. And I'm going to, I probably should have let that um, ink dry a little bit longer before attempting this. I'm not necessarily going to do all the bubbles, but I'm just going to um, activate that ink, um, move it around a little bit, just with a bit of water, and just let it sit for a minute. Um, and so it'll lift the same way, the same technique that we did before, it's just that we're choosing where the water is sitting, as opposed to splattering and letting it land where it wants to land. I just think it's going to give an, just an other, another element, another layer um, to the project. Now I really want a sentiment on this and I've just realised um, when I was looking through my bit box that I don't have the sentiments um, that I thought um, because I think it's the Ocean fashion, Fashionistas have some fantastic ocean sentiments in there. Um, and I thought I had some in my bit box, but I don't. So I will be pausing the video at some point, probably going for my coffee and then coming back and finishing it. So I'm going to leave, have to leave in about 10 minutes. And right now I don't have a face done, so yeah. I'll be sitting here with you for another five minutes and then, and then we'll head. So there now we've just lifted the colour from those bubbles a little bit. As I said, it just adds that extra bit of interest. So let's start, oh, let's start building up the page. This is also, see I keep everything, I really do. I'm just going to, this is a little bit of, um, what I'm just going to do is take that spare ink, I'll actually make sure I move this away so I don't damage that page underneath. Um, 
I'm just going to take the spare ink that's on here and pop it around the edge of this just to sort of define it a little bit and also to tie it into what's going on in the page. But I am going to move this away because I don't want that ink now to sit on my page that I've got there. Um, but yeah, I keep all my tiny little scraps and they do just become little extra details and nuances. <laughs> I really do keep in everything. I am quite ridiculous. Right, so let's get this. Pop that in there. So this was from, I think this is from Mermaids and Maidens. That's the paper. There's a, a paper kit comes with it, which is a bit fantabulous. Right, so I'm going to put her there, but I did want one of the wheels peeking out from behind her, so I'm just going to glue her in first and to find a good place. So I don't need to have it further, further down. Yeah, we'll pop her further down. So we'll stick her about there. Um, and the Willow did have little um, like water spurt things coming out. Um, but I couldn't bother cutting them all out, so I'll just draw them back in. <laughs> so I'll put her there. And then, oh, we can actually even have it so that their, their tail's overlapping a little bit. That's cool. Right, so we'll get her in. Lots of glue. Well, I actually meant to put um, a bit of ink around the edge. <laughs> oh well, that'll help her pop out. That'll help her stand out. Right, so we've got that, and then we've got. I was going to have a willow and a little, little baby willow just there. goodness how adorable is that tiny one I love it I love this because it's like arctic ocean and yet we've got hot yellow in it <laughs> so it just shows you can just you know I'm just gonna flip that around cut that off okay now I could have it so that we've got more tails over here I don't know if that looks silly yeah we'll just leave that Okay, now let's see what have I got. I've got some bits and bobs. So here's where it's maybe start looking a bit funny because we've got a starfish and all sorts going on. And as I said, there wouldn't be starfish in the Arctic Ocean, but why not? Or it might not even need it. I don't know. I quite, I quite like it as is. Mmm, decisions, decisions. I could sort of build up a little... Do you know what? I, I don't think it needs it. I don't think it needs it. I mean, I could do some starfish dangles because I'm obsessed with dangles. Or we could have these as dangles. Yeah, that could be quite fun. Yeah, I'll have those as dangles. Because I have to have dangles. Right, and I am now just going to pause the camera and I will come back with you. I will print off a sentiment and get my pen for the doodleage. And then I will be back and we will just finish the page together. But I have to say, so far, I'm feeling quite happy. Okay, so I'm back from a very lovely afternoon. I did also notice when I came back, because I had to replace the battery, that I didn't have the microphone um, plugged in properly. So if the sound wasn't brilliant at the beginning of this, I do apologise. I'm hoping it's going to be okay to uh, put up as is, but we will see when I go to edit. So I apologise for that. I have cut out um, Stay Wild. Oh, sorry. I printed out my um, sentiment from the Ocean Fashionistas collection and this one says stay a wild ocean child and I'm doing a dawn 
trick here and fussy cutting around the sentiment because it's quite a cute look and it's not really something I do that much but Dawn does it quite a lot and it looks really effective so I am borrowing her idea today. That's the thing, we all inspire one another so why not? Right so I'm going to pop that around like so and actually I was going to ink around it but I think I might just leave it white so it stands out. I'm going to do that, so we'll pop that down and there, like so. Right, and then I am going to turn my little things here into dangles because it's me and I have to. Okay, and if I put one here, I'll have it coming behind your hair though, so that I'm not doing a big line over the hair. Okay, and we'll add a few extra doodles and then we will do our doodly border. Like so. And bring that around. And then what I want to do is play with some of the um, crackle gels. This is crackle enamel. So um, what's pretty cool, as you all know, I absolutely love my crackle gels. Um, and so it's kind of like, well, if I've got the gel, why do I need the enamel? Um, it's, it's, I don't know, it depends what you want to do with it. I it's almost like having crackle gel but it's a bit like the Nouveau drops um, so you can be much more precise with it and you can draw with it um, so I'm going to use some of this sea foam and let's see if I can open it, brand new bottle okay so it's like the crackle gel but with the crackle gel, uh, the crackle gel you do like big swathes of it and so you can cover a large area but, but if you were to try and be precise you would struggle a bit. That's just the packaging. But this is like, as I said, it's like your Nouveau drops. So you've got the same sort of control with that. So you can draw, you can you can have it raised if you want. I actually want it fairly flat just because I it's going to be in my journal. But if you wanted to do raised dots, you could. Um, but it crackles. So you've got like as I said, that sort of extra glossy accent like you would with your Nouveau drops, but it will have a crackled element to it, which I just think is cool. Um, so I think it's a brilliant concept having it in a, a little tub like this. So this is the enamels as opposed to the crackles. I mean, I suppose technically you could, um, the enamels as opposed to the gels, I suppose technically you could maybe squeeze out a whole load and um, put it with your palette knife. But um, yeah, I just think they each ha they each have their place. It's like why have a glue stick and uh, funny glue? It's like they both have their place. And if you love crackle, it's a brilliant addition um, to your crackle products. Um, so I'm just going over some of the bubbles with this, and then obviously I will have to leave that to dry and do its own thing. And then I will come back once that has dried. There we go. So a few more, a few more bubbles here. But it's just another layer of interest. And I do actually love the fact that you can draw with it. I'm squeezing a bit. It's fairly new product for me, so I've not quite got to grips with how I'm using it. So I've maybe gone a bit heavy-handed. But I think it sort of works with the style of the project anyway. So I said I'll just put a big bit on her face. And I definitely don't want that. That was because it was on my it was on my finger. I'll just scrape that off. Managed to rescue that, I think. Right, so I will let that I can already see cracks forming. That's how quick it is. And because I've not got it very thick, they're already starting to form. But I will let that dry and we will come back to it. So that's that dried now, so I don't know if you can see it. And as I said, I really think the easiest way to describe this is like a Nouveau drop that crackles. It's an awesome product. 
Um, I bought myself a few of the colours, but I can gradually see more of them falling into my basket, especially as they're all sat right there. <laughs> this one's already fallen into my basket because I've just opened it and played with it. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. Let me just pop that Okay, so that is my page all finished there. Um, please do check out the list of all the other lovely ladies that are taking part in this collab. I would really appreciate it if you pop over and say hello. Consider liking and subscribing to everyone. If you're new to my channel because of the hop, welcome. And if you have enjoyed it here, please do consider liking and subscribing yourself. Thank you ever so much. And I will be back with some more crafty goodness for you very, very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.